tragedy strikes the Garden Grove High School community as one of their own dies while playing a football game. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Vicki Gonzalez. Linebacker Kevin Tellis loved his family, his teammates, and coaches, and he loved football. On Friday night, the Garden Grove senior collapses in the closing minutes of a game against Westminster High School. The hits were hard Friday night as Garden Grove took on cross-town rival Westminster in the first game of the season. Linebacker Kevin Tellis was in the thick of it, making tackles and supporting his teammates. But Kevin collapsed during this fourth quarter play. The stunned crowd watched and waited as activity around the fallen player increased. He didn't really know. He's like, oh, it must have been his knee. You know, we didn't really make a big deal about it, thinking, you know, maybe it's just a, he got winded. But then when we saw that they were giving him CPR, it, it was just tears. After what seemed like a long delay, paramedics arrived to treat Kevin and take him to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. What happened to Kevin may not be known for several days, maybe even weeks, according to the coroner's office. The following day, a memorial at the school began to grow for the young linebacker nicknamed Troy after Troy Palamalu of the Pittsburgh Steelers. On Sunday, hundreds gathered to remember Kevin Tellis at St. Columban's Church. And as Gaston Castellanos reports, it was a chance for the star football player's family and teammates to grieve. There were plenty of tears and hugs as the loved ones of Kevin Tellis gathered at St. Columban's Murphy Hall. It was standing room only, a fitting tribute to a beloved son and teammate. The Garden Grove Argos play more as a family than as a football squad, and that family has suffered a terrible loss. I loved him uh, like a brother and like a friend, and he was the heart and soul of this football team. And um, I know this team will go on. And Kevin would not have wanted for, all, for everybody to quit. He would want him for us to stay together, stay strong, and keep fighting. Kevin Tellis was that kind of player. Deep in the fourth quarter, he would ask his teammates, are you tired? Because I'm not tired. Every tackle, every down, the young linebacker, number 45, gave it everything he had. At Murphy Hall, there were tables where friends could write messages. Mourners pinned ribbons on to show their support. Kevin's family listened as his teammates put it all out there, just as they would on the field. It's not fair that Kevin was cut down in his prime like this. It's never able to hug his family again or throw up and have his own. I'm constantly remembering all the good times we had together. We will always miss laughing with you, seeing your smile. And we all love you, Kevin. Kevin Tellers loved his family, his teammates, and friends. He was always ready to smile, always ready to laugh. His love affair with football was something brother Robert Tellis couldn't quite get, even though he played the game himself. And he'll, come, he'll come home from hell week with a smile. Who does that? Who does that? You know what I'm saying? The team is practicing again, getting ready for Thursday's game. It's something they all know Kevin Tellis would want them to do. This is Gaston Castellanos reporting. A last-minute car wash organized by some of Kevin's teammates earned $4,700. They gave it to the family during the memorial to help with the funeral expenses.